In the last video, we saw how to pass data from the parent component to the child component. In this video, let's see how to intercept a change in the input property value and perform some operation. To keep things simple, I have removed the alias and also the default value. So the input property right now is just logged in of type boolean. Alright, right now you can see that we have two lines of code to display the appropriate message. Welcome back and please log in. Instead, let's create a single property and assign the appropriate value. To do that, we need to intercept the value passed in from the parent to the child component. In the previous section, we saw two ways to intercept property change. Two-way binding split syntax and getters and setters. We are not dealing with two-way binding right now, so we can't use that. But we can definitely use getters and setters. Let's see how. Now, if you can recollect, the first step is to create a private property. So this is going to be private underscore logged in of type boolean. The second step is to create a getter. So get logged in returns a boolean value which is nothing but this dot underscore logged in. Third step is to create the setter. Set logged in which accepts a parameter value of type boolean and assigns it to the private variable logged in. So this dot logged in is equal to value. Fourth and final step because logged in is passed as an input from the parent component, we need to add the input decorator. We are basically telling the component, hey, the setter is an input property. So we are going to add at input. All right, with these steps, we have now achieved what was already done in the last video. But the setter makes it possible to intercept the value change and execute additional lines of code. So now I can create a new property called message of type string. And in the setter, I can check if the value passed is true or false and set the appropriate message. If value triple equal to true, this dot message is equal to welcome back Vishwas. Else this dot message is equal to please log in. Now back in the HTML, I can simply bind the message with interpolation. So instead of the two paragraph tags, I can have message. Finally, let's also add two buttons to toggle the logged in state. So in the parent component HTML, that is app.component.html, I'm going to add two buttons. So we have two buttons, one to log in and one to log out. When you click on the login button, we set user logged in to true. And when you click on the log out button, we set user logged in to false. I'm also using interpolation on user logged in to visually see what is the value of that particular property. And let's also add the property binding. So we have logged in, which is the value that child component expects. This is going to be equal to user logged in. So if I save this and take a look at the browser, you can see the message, welcome back Vishwas. If I log out, you can see that it says, please log in. Log in and it says, welcome back Vishwas. So you can see that whenever the input value of logged in changes, we intercept the change and set the appropriate message. So based on the value that is passed in, you can execute any logic and assign values to any properties in the component. That is a really useful feature during component interaction. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at another approach to intercept the change in an input property value. I'll see you guys in the next one.